shared responsibilities and shared sacrifice, not winner take all. Yeah. This election is not about how to deal with a hard budget crisis. I had to do that. And I gave you, if you remember, the last four budgets were surplus budgets. Yeah. And the same philosophy that is dominating Wisconsin, as soon as I left office, double the national debt. After increasing it fourfold before I took office. You have a choice here. And the choice, I think, is pretty simple. You want creative cooperation? That's what's working everywhere in America and everywhere in the world. With Europe, a basket case, believe it or not, there are some countries that have unemployment rates of 4 and 5%. Why? Because they've got cooperation. They figured out how to get through this. Everywhere I go in America, everywhere I go in the world, the only thing is working is when you get everybody who's got a stake in the game in there, treat them with respect, and people go forward together. That's how you get out of a ditch. You get out of a ditch when people stand on each other's shoulders and somebody gets to the top and then reaches down and pulls everybody else up. That's how you get out of a ditch. So you just have to decide. When I was a young boy and I first began to study about America and I read about the Wisconsin progressive tradition and I realized a lot of them were Republicans. That's gone now. I passed a statue of Abraham Lincoln on the way in here. Abraham Lincoln in the middle of the Civil War created the Transcontinental Railroad and passed the Morrill Land Ground Act, which set us that land in every state in the country for a state university that revolutionized America. These guys want to make it impossible for people to pay off their student loans. Yeah. This is a big deal. And it is not about Republicans and Democrats or traditional conservatives and liberals. You know, nobody's right all the time, and a broken clock is right twice a day. Yeah. And all of us poor human beings, we're condemned to spend every day of our lives somewhere between those extremes. Nearly all of us are right more than twice a day, and nobody's right all the time. So to have a divide and conquer strategy is nuts. Did you see what Mr. the governor's closest recently nominated ally in the Republican Party said when he beat Senator Luger in Indiana the other night? Dick Kluger was condemned for working with the President of the United States, who happened to be with another party, for national security. He said he shouldn't cooperate with him for anything. He said our views are too opposed and we have to keep going until we force the American people to make a choice. I will never compromise. That is what is wrong with America today. It is not the road back, it is a road to a dead end. There's a reason all these far white wealthy people are pouring money in here running negative ads against them. And I don't know enough about all the details, but I'll tell you this about the crime deal. When I was president, we passed a crime bill that Tom Barrett was a leading proponent of that gave you the first eight year period of declining crime in the history of the country. I know that. I know what he did. Why are they doing this? <laughs> because times are tough and you got to get up every day and a lot of people in this crowd get up every day and you start the day you look in the mirror and you say God is it going to get better how long is it going to be what's my future going to be like and when people are uncertain and afraid it's easy to get them confused and divided I'm telling you folks I wrote a whole book about this we got a lot of problems we fell from 1st to 15th in the percentage of our young people with college degrees because kids couldn't afford to finish because their debts were so high and their parents were in trouble. We fell from 1st to 15th in the quality of our infrastructure. We're 15th in our computer download speeds, which hurts small towns and rural areas in Wisconsin that could be using the Internet to sell their products. But everything that's wrong with us is fixable.
That's true. We're still the biggest economy on earth. We are still the most diverse country on earth with a big economy. Look around this crowd today. That is our strength. We are still younger than Europe, younger than Japan. In 20 years, we'll be younger than China. So this is about whether you think that's a good thing or not, or whether you want to support laws that make it harder for young people and minorities and poor people to vote. That's what this is about. That's what he did. And he did it to keep the electorate narrow, hoping you wouldn't show up, and to confuse people. If you like the idea that it should be harder for the young, the poor, the minorities, the first generation of immigrants to vote, by all means, stay home Tuesday. If you know that's a loser for America and you look around this crowd and you see our youth, you see our vitality, you see our diversity, show up Tuesday and elect Tom Barrett governor. If you believe, if you believe in an economy of shared prosperity when times are good and shared sacrifice when they're not, then you don't want to break the unions. You want them at the negotiating table and you trust them to know that arithmetic rules. Show up and vote for Tom Barrett on Tuesday. If you believe in a state budget that has shared restraints but shared opportunity that preserves your future investments in education and jobs and you want somebody who's actually created jobs through cooperation, the only way that it works, show up and vote for Tom Barrett on Tuesday. Yeah. If, you want, if you want Wisconsin once again to be seen by all of America as a place of diversity, of difference of opinion, of vigorous debate, where in the end, people's objective is to come to an agreement that will take us all forward together, you have to show up and vote for Tom Barrett on Tuesday. This divide and conquer, no compromise crowd, if they'd been in control, there never would have been a United States Constitution. You ought to read the debates that happened among our founding fathers before the Constitution. They were vigorous, they were vital, and they were tough, and they dealt with really hard issues. But the goal was to get to an agreement. The goal was to allow us to come together. If they'd been in control, there never would have been a nation's capital at Washington, D.C., because they gave that to Virginia because Virginia said, we're rich, we don't owe any money, but we're going to absorb the debts of all these other poorer states so we can start off as one country with one economy. We would not even be here today if they had had their way. Yeah. So I came from New York today for that reason. I'm grateful to you. You voted for me twice. And I want to tell you a little story. In 1992, when Wisconsin voted for me, if this were a divide and conquer state, if this were a winner take all state, you would not have voted for me. You know why? Because in 1992, Wisconsin was one of only two states in America that were actually better off than they had been in 1988. The other 48 were worse off. But Wisconsin was better off. Nonetheless, you did. Why? because you understood that over the long run, we had to build a nation of shared prosperity, shared responsibilities, one nation, undivided. Every day, when a child in Wisconsin says the Pledge of Allegiance, it is a rebuke to the far right, winner take all, take no prisoners, divide and conquer, constant conflict, philosophy of government. You get a chance, a second chance to do that. Ordinarily, I'm against recall elections. I went to try to fight one in California. But sometimes it is the only way to avoid a disastrous course. Sometimes, sometimes it is the only way to avoid being misunderstood. I can just hear it now, Wednesday. 
All those people had poured all this money into Wisconsin. If you don't show up and vote, we'll say, see, we got them now. We're finally going to break every union in America. We're going to break every government in America. We're going to stop worrying about the middle class. We don't give a rip whether poor people get to work their way into it. We got our way now. We got it all. Divide and conquer works. You tell them no. You tell them Wisconsin has never been about that, never will be about that, by electing Tom Barrett governor. Thank you.